I have a double debit fraction. 5 is to power n minus 3 is to power n is equal to 544. Here we are going to find out the value of n plus star class function. So here I am going to replace this 5 and 3 in the placement of a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 3. I am going to square both the sides. This will turn to a square is equal to 25 and this will turn to b square is equal to 9. As we subtract both these equations, so we will get a square minus b square is equal to 25 minus 9 a square minus b square is equal to 16. So this is our first expression. So here I subtract our a, b values. So now I'm going to add up the a, b values. So this will turn to So this is our second expression. Now I'm going to rewrite our given expression. 5 raised to power n minus 3 raised to power n is equal to 544. So in replacement of 5 and 3, we already consider a raised to power n. b raised to power n is equal to 544. Here I'm going to find the prime factor of 544. That will change this so now. This will I will take as a two is for four power and two. And same thing. So our next expression turn to is for four thirty four a is for and b is for and z equals to sixteen thirty four. Now in replacement of sixteen and in replacement of thirty four, I will going to use our expression one and two. Next expression turns to a to power n minus b to power n is equal to a square minus b square. a square plus b square. Now I'm going to use the algebraic identity that is x square minus y square plus y x minus y. So this expression turns to a square n minus b square n is equal to a square whole square two minus b square whole square two a square n minus b square n is equal to a square four minus b square four. Now I'm going to compare both the sides. So a square n is equal to a raised to power 4 minus b raised to power n is equal to minus b raised to power 4. So as I saw this here we have the same basis so we can equate the powers and this to power 4. Here this negative sign get cancelled. So here also we have the same basis so we can equate the power and is equal to 4. So here we get for both the cases, the same value of n. I'm going to check my answer, so I'm going to write in the expression that is 2 is 4 and is equal. So our n value is 4 and here 4 is equal. So this will turn to 625 and this gives us 81 is equal. So this will give 544. 
and here 544 so uh, left hand side equal to the right hand side therefore the value of n we find out is absolutely correct thank you for watching my video if you do not subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel